Okay, so section 10.8 is the last section in chapter 8, and it, it's, uh, it's the, the section that's trying to put everything together, make you use all parts of the factory map. So in this problem right here, you take a look at the problem and you say, okay, is there a common factor? Well, right off the bat, I see that uh, there's an x squared at least in there. Is there any other part of a common factor? Well, I don't know. It looks like there is. It looks like there's a number that will factor out. And, of course, that number is going to be 11. So we factor out the common factor, um, 11 and x squared, and we're left with 3x cubed minus 11 in the parentheses. So we look at the parentheses and we count terms, two terms, and then we ask ourselves the question, is this a difference of squares or a sum or difference of cubes? And, of course, the answer is it's not. So we are done factoring that one out. All right, so in the first problem below here, 4x squared plus 36, we can factor out the common factor at 4, and we're left with an x squared plus 9 in parentheses. Now, again, when we go through the factory map, we're going to say count terms 2. Is this a difference of squares or a sum or difference of cubes? And x squared plus 9, that's a sum of squares. So it's not a difference of squares. It's not a sum or difference of cubes. So that part's factored completely. But in the problem below that, it looks exactly the same. When we factor out the 4, we're going to be left with an x squared minus 9 in the parentheses. And, of course, that is a difference of squares. So that would not be considered factored completely. If you left your answer like that, it would be wrong. And so we're, we're asked to uh, complete that by... Uh, factoring out that last part into x minus 3 times x plus 3.